This is try some stuff. Well, welcome back. Uh, let's start. In front of you see two 12 volt batteries and they are 7 amp hour. Inside the machine there's similar batteries but these ones inside are 7.2. So these will be compatible with each other. So if you want to change your amp hours you've got to change these perhaps to 9 hours and these ones inside to 9 hour amp hours. If you want uh, 12 amp hours, these ones as well as these inside have to be 12 amp hours. So what you're going to need is of course your two batteries. Of course the UPS. You're going to need a soldering iron. Solder of course. Utility knife. A screwdriver. And I have to tell you I had to cut this one about a centimeter away because when you put it inside it doesn't want to reach so I had to abuse one of my screwdrivers now so also you can have wiring this is the thickness of the, the gauge that's inside this machine and this is the positive one and this is the negative one I've uh, put some uh, heat shrink around each of these uh, connectors just to make it more safe right so, without, f oh yes, and don't forget the wiring tape. So I'm going to take this machine apart, there's just one on this side, there and there's a screw and on that side and this side. So I'm going to take that apart quickly, then I'll just bring you back. You remember the little red button? Yeah, push the little red button. And you may want to put on a seatbelt. Uh, the batteries. I have been laid flat on its side. First thing first, there's some screws in top here. I'm going to remove that. Okay. And you have to remember these UPSs are. Uh, in a joint in series not in parallel so the two external batteries will have to be wired exactly the same so I'm going to remove this one right put that aside and now we can remove the batteries one by one So this is the hot lead, positive, and that's the ground one or the negative one. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to open this with a utility knife and then we're going to have to solder this inside. This gauge is a bit thicker, but better thicker than too thin. Go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you back once I've done that. So this is the positive one and I've already opened it up and this is the negative one negative one and I've already opened this one up as well so next we're gonna have to drill some holes so next I'm gonna have to drill some holes somewhere over here because it's gonna come about here for the outlets I'm not gonna drill it in the side I'm gonna drill it see that's that's the top it's, there's the switch and somewhere we are going to have to drill two holes for each of these cables so let's do that so I've drilled the two holes and if you, so you can see it comes out in there after it's assembled I'll show you how it looks this is the negative one and it's going to be joined like that still have to solder it and this one and this one 
the red is the positive this is going to have to be joined so I'll bring you back when that is done so I've now uh, joined it it's been soldered and I've put some wire tape around it but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some extra protection around it uh, it's called each ring so let's just put that on as well just for good luck so now we are quite safe this is the each ring now applied on both of the terminals so let's start reassembly so the earth or the negative the negative one gonna go on So this is how it looks, let's switch it on. Can you hear the humming of the transformer? Nothing is smoking, <laughs> that's a good sign. So thanks for watching and leave a comment and a like or whatever you want to do, just do it.